Okay, so we go over Eisenberg and the tent principle. So what is it all about? So the basic idea is there is uncertainty in the act of measuring the position and the momentum of a particle. So the simplified form that you can remember is the more precisely you know about any of the two, the more uncertain you are about the other one. Okay, that's what you're trying to say. So the more precisely the position is known, the position is known, the more uncertain the momentum. Okay, so that's the way it is, and vice versa. So you can there can also be a point where it gets to know more about the momentum. And then you'll be very uncertain about what? The position. So if you look at our formula there, this tells us to say that this is your momentum, your uncertainty in momentum, your uncertainty in position. Then that is Prax constant over what? 4 pi. Not so. This is what we have. So now what does this basically mean? It's like you get to talk about... Um, for example, talk about an electron. Imagine you have an electron in your hand. Then you try to throw it. So the mass, the fact that you know the mass of an electron doesn't necessarily prove that you'll be able to determine the it's where it's going to drop off from. What I'm trying to say is this. You throw it up, right? It, you are very uncertain about where it's going to drop off from. But you are very much certain about what? Its mass. So usually there's... We get to apply S and B and certain principle to small masses. Of course, if you talk about something like a ball, and then you know its velocity, you're able to like it's able, you're able to determine everything there. You are certain about both the position and the the momentum. Not so. But for something that is very tiny, something that is very small, photons, electrons, it's very very difficult for you to know both of the things. Of course you may be able to locate the position of an elect of maybe a photo. But you may not necessarily use that information to determine the mass. You may know the mass but you may not necessarily use that to locate the position of a small particle. That's what we're trying to say. So it's like you can know more one greater than the other one. So if you get to make let's say trying to make the uncertainty in momentum to be a subject of our formula there, we'll notice that it will be either greater than or equal to what? Planck's constant over what? So uncertainty in position multiplied by 4 pi. So if you check this, these are in this proportion. And this is what basically gives us the definition. Okay. The more you know about that, the less you know about what? The uncertainty in position. So take note, that is denoting uncertainty in what? Uncertainty in momentum. And that is uncertainty in what? In position. So these are the things that we are talking about. So what is important is for you to be able to remember that formula and be able to state the Eisenberg uncertainty principle. Okay. So we are usually going to give you questions to L to to test you on your understanding of our formula there. So it's very very important that you understand that momentum is basically a product of mass and velocity, as you are going to discuss it in your physics. So momentum is a product of mass and velocity. Okay. So what you need to understand is the momentum here is not exactly <laughs> what you are going to plug in there because what you are saying in the formula there is the uncertainty. So the questions are going to give you more information on how you're going to be determining the uncertainty. Not so. Let's get to look at an example. Let's look at an example. Okay, so example. <coughs> so I'll read the question. The uncertainty... So I'm saying the uncertainty but 
Are you still able to see? The uncertainty. Can you see? In the momentum. So, which is denoted by delta P, right? Of a football. Thrown. So, the ball thrown that is traveling at... Uh, at 40 meters per second easy 1 by 10 to the power negative 6 of its momentum okay what is the uncertainty in what in position Take note of a question. Given that the mass is 0 0.40 kilograms. So what information have we, have we been given there? <coughs> we are told the uncertainty in the momentum delta P of a football thrown traveling at 40 meters per second is 1 by 10 to the power negative 6 of <coughs> its momentum. What is the uncertainty in the, in the position? What could we say? So we want to find the, the uncertainty in position, not so. So I hope you have the information with you. Have you taken down the question? So I'll remove the first line on top here, yeah, which is uncertainty in the momentum. Okay. So our formula is basically, we said delta P, delta X is greater than or equal to H over what? 4 pi. That is easy to remember. A product of the uncertainty in momentum and uncertainty in position is greater than or equal to what? H over what? 4 pi. What can we say now? Do we have the uncertainty in momentum? We've been told it is that of what? The momentum. So we said, I mentioned to say momentum is a product of mass and velocity. So if we can find the momentum, we were, we are able to find the uncertainty in the momentum, not so. So our momentum is the product of our mass, 0 0.4, our velocity was 40 meters per second. So if you multiply the two, what basically are you going to have? What are you going to have? 0 0.4 multiplied by 40. right <coughs> so I have 16 there that is my momentum is that what everyone is getting hello people are just too quiet are you even getting me Yeah, so I'm asking, is that what you're getting? So I said, the uncertainty in what? The uncertainty in momentum is 1 by 10 to the power negative 6 of what? So that is like they're telling you it's 40% of that, but they're telling you it's 1 by 10 to the power negative 6 of its momentum. So what it implies that we need to multiply by the actual momentum, which is 16, for us to get what? The uncertainty in the momentum there. So this is what I was telling you. I was telling you to say, the calculation that you would get to make of your momentum is not basically the uncertainty in momentum. There will be a guiding principle in the question to help you determine the uncertainty in what? In the momentum. Are we together? Any questions, huh? Yes. Okay, good. So we've now determined our uncertainty in momentum. We now want to find the uncertainty in position. So what do we need to do then? We go back to our formula. We try to make our uncertainty in position to be a subject. So it's going to be greater than 
or equal to Planck's constant, which I know by at 6.626 by 10 to the faithful. I don't know if I'm going to ever forget that. Over. So we need to divide by the uncertainty in momentum, right? Which is what? 1 by 10 to the power negative 6. Multiply by 16. <coughs> okay? Then we also have 4 pi down there. Don't forget. 4 pi. So you can do your calculations. Doctors and engineers. Do your calculations here. Yeah? What I get here? If you've done your calculations properly, you should be able to get that. So position is measured in meters, right? <coughs> okay. That's what we have. Any questions, huh? No, now we've answered that question. We are, are we confused? Where is the 16 coming from again? <laughs> okay. Who can explain where it's coming from? So the question was saying, I don't know if you copied down the question. I hope you did. So the uncertainty in the momentum of a football thrown is traveling at 40 meters per second is 1 by 10 to the power negative 6 of its momentum. So we had to calculate our momentum by multiplying the 0 0.4 by the 40, that part there, to find our momentum. So when we were told the uncertainty in momentum is basically 1 by 10 to the power negative 6 of the momentum. So that's why we are multiplying by the momentum, which is a 16. As a result of 0 0.4 being multiplied by 40. Is that okay? Okay. Question 2. To help us understand more. You notice you notice there is four milliliters of water <laughs> traveling at twenty meters per second and it's uncertainty in momentum is 0.04% it's what momentum calculate the uncertainty in position which is delta x cardinal information in the question go to your formula Ch delta x greater than or equal to Planck's constant over change in momentum uncertainty in momentum multiply by 4 pi what do we know we know Planck's constant we know 4 pi how do we find delta p we are told it's 0.04 percent of what? Of what? Its momentum, right? So, what is its momentum? How do we get to calculate it? Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. So, we've been given the velocity to be 20 meters per second. Do we have the mass? We don't know. But what we are told is we have water of that volume, right? So, you know the density of water. Then you also know what? You also know you've also been given the volume so you can find the mass what do we know density is equal to mass over what volume so don't forget whatever you learned in high school so mass is a product of density and what product of density and the volume <coughs> so you know that 
density is 1 gram per watt per milliliter, right? Or 1 gram per cubic centimeters. Or 1,000 kilograms per cubic... Des... Eh? <laughs> kilogram per cubic meters, right? I hope that's okay. A thousand, actually. Okay. I can also forget. But um, I'm glad I remembered. <coughs> so now, we can use that what we have. One gram per milliliters. So it tells us to say that per every milliliter you have a gram, right? So if you have four milliliters, it implies that you have how many grams do you have? Without even putting in the formula there. So one gram per milliliter multiplied by four is going to be four grams, right? If you want, you can plug in. So our mass is eh, 4 grams. So I want to deal with uh, kilograms, not so. So you can divide by 1,000, which is going to be 0, 0.0... 0 what? Is it 4? Yeah, 0 0.004 kilograms. So you have your mass. You also have your velocity. So multiply 0 0.04 by the velocity of 20 meters per second. Then you'll be able to find your momentum. I've answered the question without even getting to you can finish it up any questions yeah? so I'm saying our momentum is the product of our mass 0 0.04 our velocity is 20 you can find your momentum there then your uncertainty in momentum is going to be 0 0.04 percent which is 0 0.04 over 100 multiply by what multiply by the actual momentum which is 0 0.004 multiplied by 20 if you've understood that part then you are home and dry after finding that you plug in at this point multiply by 4 pi divide into Planck's constant you will get your uncertainty in position of a particle any questions ladies and gentlemen They can also ask you to find the uncertainty in momentum. Yes. That is more direct. That's why I didn't even talk. That's why I've not talked about it. It's more direct because the uncertainty in position is going to very be directly given. But for you've seen for momentum, it's kind of indirect, right? Because it requires you to do some calculations here and there. <coughs> okay. So we've covered the, the, uh, the, 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 the famous Essenberg and Setent principle. Any questions? Um. Okay. So at this moment of time, I'll allow any questions on atomic structure. I think I've covered it all.